Welcome to Philip Capital's Market Watch. I am Eric Lee, Sales Director from Philip Nova. The stock markets have been down since January earlier this year. From its all-time high, the drawdown of S&P 500 was 24.3%. It was slightly worse for Nasdaq at 34%. During my last Market Watch post, which you can tune in easily using the link in the description box, I shared about the correlationship between an inflation peak and the potential for a rebound for the stock market. Many of my clients had asked me on the stocks to shortlist for investment when an inflation peak is spotted. So I thought it would be perfect time for me to share on this simple but effective twin engine investment strategy using Salesforce.com as an example. When riding a plane, it is definitely better to have two engines instead of one. In the event when one engine fails, the plane can still operate and land safely with the other. Of course, this fact is more crucial for our personal safety when we are talking about the mode of transportation, but the same principle can be applied to investment as well. For investing, these two engines are growth and price multiples expansion. Stock prices can fluctuate in the short term because of market sentiment caused by companies related events or global macro events. However, if you look at it in the long term of say three to five years, its stock price appreciation will be the function of its business growth and the price multiples expansion. To better illustrate this analogy, I'll be using Salesforce.com, ticker CRM as an example, to explain the benefits of the twin engine approach. Before we dive in, let's understand what Salesforce.com's business is. The company's tagline is, we bring companies and customers together. They do that through their customer relationship management CRM platform. It uses a SaaS software as a service business model, providing cloud-based solutions for sales, marketing, client support, operating mainly in the US followed by Europe. Let's start by studying the company's historical growth. Depending on the data we have, 5 to 10 years of historical data should be relatively sufficient to study its trend. Some companies may have new business development, which makes analyzing the trend using their past data meaningless. For Salesforce.com, the past 10 years of data has proved their trend to be consistent. We can smooth the data further by averaging the annualized revenue growth rate with that of its net property, plant and equipment, and free cash flow growth rate. Looking at the table, we can conclude that Salesforce.com's growth rate is about 27% per annum. Most of the time, when we perform a total return analysis, TRA, on a stock price over the same period the growth rate was measured from, we find that it matches the growth rate tabulated from the method above. In situations when it does not match, it could be due to fundamental changes to the business model affecting their future growth projection. Sometimes it could also be due to the market's negative sentiment, which could temporarily depress the stock price performance. I believe it is most likely the latter reason which caused Salesforce.com stock price to underperform its business growth recently. When we performed TRA on the stock price, we saw that it was only growing at 15% per annum, which is about 10% below that of its growth rate. This provides investors an opportunity to invest in a growth stock at an attractive valuation. And this leads me to the second engine of price multiples valuation. Depending on the life cycle of the company and the sector it is in, a combination of price multiples can be used. Most commonly, price to earnings PE, price to book PB, price to sales PS. There are other metrics that investors may like to use like price to free cash flow, and enterprise value to earnings before interest and tax. But the former three are easily available in most free financial data providers. Personally, I prefer to use price to sales as sales data is least subjected to manipulation by fanciful financial engineering. Attached is the monthly chart of Salesforce.com with its yearly sales data and its historical price to sales performance included. You can see that its sales performance have been very consistent whether we measure it by 1, 3, 5, or 10 years, its compounded annualized growth, CAGR, show the consistent performance of 25% per annum. This makes projecting its sales trajectory easy. 
though its sales grew consistently year by year. We see that its share price did not follow through, resulting in the price to sales fluctuating within a range of 6 times to 12 times over the past decade. With the exceptions of 2009, when the great financial crisis pushed its stock valuation to a price to sales valuation of 3 times. Let's take a look at a case study to better understand the impact of investing at various price to sales levels. In these case studies, if an investor bought Salesforce.com in December 2016 at US $68 and sold it in May 2022 at US $160, he would have entered and exited the stock when his price to sales was trading at six times. And his annualized return for this investment would be 17% per annum over a period of five and a half years. If he exited in August 2020 at a price to sales multiples of 12 times, his annualized return would be 45% per annum over the period of three and a half years. This is much higher than his sales annualized growth of 25% per annum. We can conclude that investors of Salesforce.com had genuinely performed well, even if he had bought it when the price to sales was trading at an upper range of 12 times. That is testament to the growth engine working, driving his share price higher. However, Investing when his price to sales was trading at a lower range of six times gave investors an additional edge, benefiting from the twin engines of growth in sales and the price multiples expansions. I hope you find this sharing informational. Salesforce.com is available for trading on Philip Nova MT5 platform. My name is Eric Lee, Sales Director from Philip Nova. I'm a triple license representative specializing in stocks, futures, forex, and interest. I have been with Philip Nova since 2004 and have over 20 years of experience investing in the financial markets. My clients benefited from services including investment advisories in unit trusts and stocks, investment insights based on my personal knowledge and experiences, navigating through the markets the past 20 years. This is the list of WhatsApp and email services I provide. On top of that, clients who are keen to learn about fundamental and technical analysis can also talk to me to arrange for a one-on-one -on -one coaching session conducted on Zoom or face-to-face. -face. Feel free to get in touch with me if you have any queries regarding investing with Philip Capital or if you would like to engage my services and want to find out more. That is all for Philip Capital's Market Watch. Do remember to like and follow us on social media and subscribe to us on YouTube. See you soon.